Hi, it's Patsy. I'm back. Um, I'm back home. I um, came home yesterday. I came home early um, because I wanted to go to the doctors before um, Easter break. Um, so um, I had to come home a bit early. There was no point really being there because I couldn't get out because of my eyes. Um, I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm trying to think positive. They are getting better. Um, I have. Um, a high um, a reaction to allergies in my system um, we don't know to what yet um, but the doctors have kind of said to try and eliminate um, what came into the house around the time that my eyes started playing up um, that was at Christmas um, just after Christmas my eyes and they steadily got worse um, and the only thing I can tie <coughs> excuse me to that period of time and um, where I would be getting a reaction at home as well as at the caravan is um, the latest puppy we got, Winnie. So she's been rehomed with my mum um, and fell, mum's fell in love with her. So she's with my mum um, and since we, we took her to mum's on Sunday, um, the eyes do seem to be slowly improving and um, like the doctor said it will take a week or so to get it all out of the house and off my clothes and off me and all the rest of it um, but I don't think that was all of my problems um, but I do think she was part of them so sadly she's gone to but at least she's gone to mum um, so we can still see and still have regular visits and that with her but um, back at the opticians next week trying to get used to these glasses they're these um i can't remember what you call them you know where there's so many different lenses in one glass um one glass lens um i'm trying to get used to them they were taking it up when i'm sitting down looking around i'm fine but it's when i'm moving around i feel a bit drunk but i feel a bit drunk today anyway because I, I didn't sleep too well i've snooped up two and a half hours sleep that's all i got and i've been laying awake tossing and turning all night so i feel a bit of a zombie so my eyes are looking a bit sore today but that's through lack of sleep i think more than anything um, but I'm going to try and um, get back into doing some um, work with my cards and that this week. So I thought I'd come and share with you what I'm going to be working with over the Easter period. Now I wanted a couple of hug decks, a couple of decks that I'm used to working with and love to work with and that doesn't take too much um, effort on my part to kind of um, take a look at it and know what it means sort of thing if you know what <laughs> so the tower I'm going to be working with this week is the tower of the hidden realms I love this I, I just adore this deck and I, you know you, you all know that I love my fave decks and this is one of my favorite decks it's always in my top two so I just love the images I love the softness of these cards but it also tells you what you need to know and it's just the kind of deck that I need to work with this week. So this is the one that I'm going to be working with over the Easter period um, to the start of next week. Uh, and I do love it. I've done myself a quick reading this morning with it. And um, I liked the message it gave me. So I'm hoping that it... Oh, some of them I don't even read in reversals. Um, they got mixed up somehow. Um, I did like the message it gave me this morning. So I'm hoping that... No, I know. I'm going to be more positive that I'm on the right track. So that's the tarot that I'm going to be working with, my little hug deck. It was between this and the Joy de Vive, and I thought, no, I really fancy my fate deck. So that's what I'm going to work with. And the Oracle I'm going to be working with is an old favourite of mine. I love this deck. It's probably not, you know, one for a lot of everybody, you know. But it's the Angels, Gods and Goddesses. Oh, there we go. By Tony Carmine Salerno. Salerno. Falerno, is that how you say his name? Um, yeah, Angels, Gods and Goddesses. I absolutely adore this deck. I love it. Um, I know not many people like to work with the angel energies. I, I used to work totally with angel energy with oracles. Um, and I, I, I love working with the angel energy. Um, I don't think they're these big fluffy things in the sky and what have you. You know, they're very powerful energy. Um, but I just, I adore Tony Carmine anyway. I've got a few of his decks. But out of all of his decks, this is probably one of my favourite. Well, um, I've got the Gaia one. I can't remember the full name. I love that one too. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. A bit of nudity in this one. Um, 
these are gorgeous images i love the message you know you get that short bit on the bottom if you want you know and that's plenty of all you need um but this is just one of these decks that i just love to pull for myself um all the time and um, i like to do even three cards with these um but yeah i've had these a while and they're one of my hooker decks when i when i'm feeling a bit sorry for myself or down in the dumps or whatever then this is be the one that i'll pull myself because it is one that i enjoy working with so that's the backs of them if you haven't seen them but yeah so that's um the angels gods and goddess goddesses by you get a little guidebook in there if you needed one i mean you get a few good spreads in there i don't know if you can see them you do get a few good spreads in there um but yeah so that's that's the, the one that i'm going to be using this week because like i said they're two of my hog decks and the one i wanted to show you was um a couple of gifts that i got for mother's day so i got this little singing bowl i don't know if you can see it i can't get it to sing yet but um my teenagers me kind of indian bought me these this um and it's got the the beads as well they're on my altar and my daughter bought me some runes because she knew I wanted to work with some runes and these are um, on um, oh, my head's gone <sighs> don't know rose quartz there we go I don't, yeah so th these ones are all etched on rose quartz these ones I had no idea I've not worked with runes for a long time I started to learn to a, a while back a few years back but it was just too much with learning everything else I was learning at the time. So it can't, I don't know if you can really see the lettering on there. There we go. Um, so I didn't really get time to do much studying. But it's something that I've wanted to get back into. So this, I'm looking forward to um, getting to know these runes. But yeah, so I've got these rose quartz runes, which are lovely as well. I'll just keep them in that little bowl for now and put them on my altar. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working with this week and what, you know, the runes that I'm hoping to work with. And I will get this singing bowl working one way or another. Um, but at the minute I get nothing out of it. Um, the other thing that I was going to mention as well is um, this annoying thing that YouTube has brought in where you have to have a thousand subscribers to be able to go on your mobile um and I guess that means your iPads too to do lives. I can understand why they're brought in, but a thousand subscribers, there's a lot of subscribers to have to get to be able to use these and um, to get on to do lives. Do you know what I mean? And it's such a shame because some of my favourite people who do lives use mobile devices to do that and they're not at a thousand subscribers. So um, we're getting no lives from a couple of them. Do you know what I mean? Um, one of them has worked out you can do this um, through an app. Um, through YouTube but if you're like me and pff, haven't got a clue how to do anything sort of other than switch them on and you know do it then that isn't very helpful and um, I'm one I was actually thinking about starting doing lives when my eyes were starting to feel better but there's no way I can do that now because um, I've only got 200 subscribers after six seven months so at that rate to get a thousand that's going to take me two years <laughs> do you know what I mean and I have got a laptop, I think, somewhere, What I used to, but I've not used one for five or six years. But I don't even think that's got a camera or a recorder or anything like that on. I just think it's a basic laptop, so I don't even think I could go on with that. So it is such a shame. But the ones that I am actually missing um, watching is, um, and I'm going to give them a bit of a shout out. And if you've not got them on your list, go and have a look at some of the things that they put out, some of their lives and that that they do. And if you like them, give them a like and help them up to them thousand so we'll get them back doing lives. Um, the first one is Tangerine Layla, um, the Sleepy Hollow, I believe, the last of her name, but Tangerine Layla, she is such a beautiful, lovely spirit person, she is gorgeous, and she's so lively, and her lives are so much fun, she's, she can't um, do her lives, because she used to use her phone, um, so her channel is called Tangerine, Lay Tangerine Layla, the Sleepy Hollow, take a look at her, she's brilliant, and the others um, that I want to give a mention is Matty at the Conjurer's Table, I don't believe he's at a thousand either. And I know you always used to use his mobiles as well. Um, 
but his his husband Dave, I know that he's the one who's found this up so he can go, so I know he's not at a thousand. Um the wizards the wizards um or what's it the wizards uh, tower or something like that, something like that. Um it's Matt's husband. Um he's another one who used to do live readings and what have you through but it, like I said he isn't a thousand so he has to go on through this app. Um but I'm sure there's loads of people out there um that we all enjoy watching lives. You can't get on and do lives now, you know. I know the well-known ones and the ones with the bigger followings are fine. They can carry on using it because they're over the thousand. But for the little, the little, little uh, the smaller um, channels like myself and like um, Tangerine Lady, I think she's five or six hundred, something like that. And um, a few others who um, was doing lives or wanted to do lives is now kind of put a stop to that, which is a shame. Um, it is a shame. And it's um, also they crack down on people who like your channel if they feel that it's a like for like rather than a genuine like. They don't actually give you that like. So um, I know I was watching one this morning. The lady had lost seven. She'd, she'd gained 17 people. Um, she was trying to get her, her, her figures up. She'd gained 17, but they only allowed her three. They took 14 back. So again, they're making it very difficult for people to get their numbers up as well. So I do think that is such a shame and, and we will miss out on an awful lot of the smaller channels being able to get themselves out there a bit more and doing some lives. Um, if I ever get my head around this um, laptop and if it has got a, a camera and what have you, I may um, try to go live one of these days and surprise you. But um, at the minute, oh, I can't even remember where you turn them on and load them up. I'm that used to my iPad now where I just flick the button on and everything comes at what I want and it's all touch screen, do you know what I mean? I haven't used a mouse or anything like that for a long time. But if I can get to grips with it and it's still around, which it must be somewhere, um, I will try a live. Oh, wait a second. Just right. hold on back. I forgot to bring this with me. Don't order when your eyes aren't very good. I went onto Amazon. I'd seen this deck, the Wisdom Keepers, in a in a um, oracle deck, in a guidance, and I thought, oh. That looks good. The Wisdom Keepers Oracle deck looks really good. Do you know what I mean? I think I saw, I can't remember where I saw it. Somebody was doing a walkthrough, but I really liked it. Goes on to Amazon to order it. Really excited, waiting for it to come. I've got the book. So I obviously didn't read that properly, did I? But because Amazon very often puts cards in under paper bag, I, I didn't really think much of it. Normally I'd check, but obviously I didn't. And I've got this book. Now, I went back on the, oh, never mind, I'll have the book. I can't get this deck of cards anywhere over here. Whether they're American, whether they're no, you know, they're out of stock, out of print, or whatever. You know, I haven't got a clue. Um, but I've got a book, but no cards, so it's the book's quite useless. So, um, if anybody has got the deck and they're selling it, let me know. <laughs> or if they got the deck but there's no way they're selling it, but they would quite like the book, let me know because it's no good to me without the cards. Such a shame because I did like the look of these cards. If, if anybody knows who, if um, anywhere in the UK is selling them, I've looked, but I can't find any. But if um, anybody can, you know, knows of anywhere in this country what's selling them, just let me know, um, because I would like to get that. And I missed out on the Crow Tarot. I saw that that come up on on Amazon pre-order for the sixteenth, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. Pre-order them, um, put it to one side, went to tell my husband and whatever come back and completely forgot about it and it was like yesterday I was like oh I'm going home oh 16th damn I'll go and order the too late get out of stock again so I missed that out as well so I'm not having the best of weeks this week with um, decks and cards and what have you but luckily I've got my hook deck so I'll be fine so thanks for watching and I will speak to you all soon and have a lovely Easter if I don't speak to you before bye